Hey Rubies, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dominique LaRue. And if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe and click that bell so that you do not miss an upload. And if you are returning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel where we gon' talk some shit. So I'm super, 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 super excited about this video. I have been wanting to make this video for a while, but I kept on procrastinating, but it's here and we are ready to roll, baby. Today is the day that I'm gonna rate the zodiac signs, honey, from one to 10. I'm rating the zodiac. So I'm gonna do it in parts, of course. So this video, we're gonna cover the first six, and then in the next video, I'm gonna cover the last six. So, without further ado, let's get this thing started cause you know, I got some shit to say. Oh, I'm so excited cause y'all know I'm an astrology girl. So like, I'm about to be loving this right now. And of course I got me a good old glass of my favorite wine, you know, Gallo Family Stay Giving. So if you sipping on something, make sure you grab your glasses, sip with me. So let's get it started. The first sign of the zodiac is going to be Aries. So how do I feel about Aries? Aries people are an interesting group of people. So I'm gonna start with the men. Aries men are my favorites. I ain't even gonna lie, like, Aries men are, I'll say, one of my favorites. Because, like, they so fun. Like, the Aries men are so fun and so excited. And, like, they just love to have a good time. They usually, like, the class clown. Like, they love to make you laugh. But, like, they they just, I don't know. Like, I just really like Aries men because they so fun. And I just love niggas that I could have a good time with. Like, Aries men, straight up good time guys. But, like, they really just, like, bratty submissives. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they love to just sit up there and act like... They're not going to do what you want them to do or whatever. But, like, they make a fuss and fight about it. But they're going to do it. Like, they're going to do it. Or, or maybe they just do it for me. But Aries men are, like, definitely in my top top five. In my overall top five. Um, horse, for sure. Like, for sure. And, of course, I took notes. Y'all know I took notes so that I don't ramble and all that. Could potentially be good leaders. Sometimes I feel like Aries people are a little too high-headed to lead all the time. But... They excellent wingman. Like, they good to have on your side. And, like, they ride for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they raging lunatics like an Aries temper. Aries people got anger issues, okay? Like, they always want to fight. You ain't got to fight everybody, Aries. Everybody don't want to fight you, Aries. It's not it's, it's not giving that all the time, baby. Everybody don't want to fight you. Calm down. Calm down. I need y'all to woo side sometimes, baby, because... <sighs> Y'all is some angry motherfuckers, for real. And, like, Aries women, I love Aries women, too. Like, my godmother is an Aries. And even as a little girl, like, I admired her so much. Like, she was just so, you know, she stand her ground. Like, she really stand on her shit. And she was just so strong and, and so glamorous and so beautiful. And, like, I really admired that about her. And now that I'm grown, it just makes so much sense to me. For my mom, who's an earth sign, my mom's a Capricorn, and my godmother is her best friend. It just makes so much sense for her, you know, my Capricorn mom to have an Aries best friend because, like, they really balance each other out. What did I give y'all? Yeah, I give Aries 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the men and the women. They ain't perfect. The, the Aries niggas is some hoes now, but I mean, what niggas ain't hoes? But, yeah, they fun. Like, they so fun. Aries niggas is so fun. So let's get into the Taurus. And y'all forgive me if I sound a little congested. I'm getting over a cold. So let's get into the Taurus. First of all, Taurus men, mm, very stubborn, very boring, homebodies. They think they know everything. Um, Taurus men don't really like me that much. And to be honest, baby, I don't really like them either. Taurus men always have a problem with me because they always try to control me or tame me or like girl and it's just never giving that so we always bump heads baby because a bull and a lion it don't be giving hun 
But Taurus women, on the other hand, I really, really like Taurus women. Taurus women know how to get some money. And I guess because, like, Taurus is the sign of, like, material things and abundance and stuff like that. Like, Taurus women know how to get a bag. I don't know no broke Taurus bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, Taurus women know how to get to the motherfucking bag. And they're very nurturing. And they're real sweet. I really like Taurus women a lot. But they got a sneaky streak to them now. Taurus women kind of sneaky. Like, she might fuck your nigga. So, watch that all. I'm telling you. But Taurus women, for the most part, are great. Mm, Taurus men, mm, 4 out of 10. Women, 7 out of 10. Because I don't like that sneaky shit. But, for the most part, y'all pretty alright. And y'all always hungry. Taurus people be Taurus people stay eating. Like, what is that with Taurus people? Like, Taurus people always hungry. Taurus people always fucking eating. Like, why is y'all so gluttonous, child? I don't know. But they is always hungry. Like, put the food down, baby. Put the food down. I can't talk. But I'm saying, put the food down. It's like, it's like what is it with y'all that eating? Mm -hmm. Four out of ten for the men. Seven out of ten for the women. All right, now one time for my Gemini's. I have quite a few Gemini friends, and I love Gemini people. Gemini people are, first of all, chatty patties, okay? If you ain't got time to talk, then you got to tell the Gemini that you you ain't got time for right now. You got to... You got some shit you got to do. Because, baby, one thing about a Gemini, baby, they can talk, 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 talk. Ooh, they love to talk. And it don't bother me because I like talking too. But Geminis, baby, they love to talk. Every Gemini friend that I have want to sit on the phone all day. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, <laughs> and I love them. And I don't mind it. But, like, Gemini people love to talk. I don't know what it is. But it's always a good time with a Gemini. Gemini girls, for sure, know how to turn up. Like, you want to have a good time at a party, you get you a Gemini girlfriend. I'm telling you, she is going to turn you up the right way. Like, Gemini girls, my boss is a Gemini girl, and she is a party girl. All my Gemini girlfriends is, they turn you up, baby. The Gemini girls turn you up. It's definitely two sides to them. Um, Sometimes they come out when they drink. Sometimes they just come out when they come out, but it's definitely two sides. That twin shit is real. Like, they be one way sometimes, and they be one way another. And, like, sometimes Gemini people can be a little two-faced. Um, but I feel like that just depends on the person. Like, if you a fake-ass bitch, you just a fake-ass bitch. They don't have nothing to do with your sign. But Geminis get a lot of hate and a lot of slander because they got that twin thing, that two that two-sided thing going on. So they see shit, a, you know, one way or two ways. Like, they can understand this, they can understand that. But, like, I love Gemini women. My first little boyfriend ever was a Gemini, and he just, uh, baby, he loved me down, hun. Like, so sweet, so nice. But, again, he had that mean streak. He had that Gemini mean streak. And it was just, ooh, I don't know. Like, and then sometimes some Gemini people, like, y'all be lying. Like, I be peeping shit. Like, sometimes Gemini's are like, y'all just be lying for no reason. I don't know what's up with that. Especially Gemini men. Gemini men tell a whole bunch of unsolicited lies. And it's like, why is you doing that? I don't know. It be sounding good and y'all be fun to be around. But, like, Gemini men be telling a whole bunch of unsolicited lies. And that's just so weird to me. Like, where do y'all get that from? Nobody asked for that. Gemini men, they faithful sometimes. But, mm. Gemini men, they faithful sometimes. But, like... They probably text to somebody. Like, if they ain't fucking nobody, they probably text to somebody. Like, because that's just how they is. Gotta talk to somebody. Like, they just always gotta be talking to somebody. Gemini niggas gotta be talking to a whole bunch of hoes. Gemini niggas just be having, like, buku hoes in their phone. Like, I don't I don't know. It's just weird. Like, they just always gotta have somebody on the hotline for the talk to and entertain them, girl. Like, anybody else have that. But as a whole, I rate Gemini people 7 out of 10. Cancer. My moon is in Cancer. Fun fact. Oh, so emotional. Y'all. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Because why are y'all so motherfucking emotional? Then y'all whiny with it. Then y'all whiny with it, girl. Like, shut up. Like, eh, 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 eh. Stop wanting everybody to like you. Stop wanting everybody to like you. Cancer people always going out their motherfucking way for the help and make everybody like them. Want everybody like them. Want, want to show everybody love and all that. Everybody don't deserve all that. Stop doing that. I ain't got time for that. Because as soon as somebody fuck over you where you didn't use your proper discernment, you want to cry and whine about it. Girl, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Stop all that whining and shit. I don't want to hear the niggas too. 
for niggas too. I can't, I can't get with all that emotional ass shit. And it's like my moon is in cancer and I'm very emotional my damn self. And I be getting on my own nerves. So you got to know y'all getting on my nerves. Y'all get on my nerves. Y'all too emotional. Too much water. Too watery. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And stop being such a homebody. Come on out that house. Come on out that house, baby. Come on outside with the rest of us. It's okay to parlay and play. Come on out. Come on out. Come see the world. Come experience me. But cancer women are so nurturing and so loving. Like, they are really the mamas of the Zodiac to me. Like, cancer women, like, you don't have to teach. Like, when they have babies and stuff like that, like, you don't have to teach them how to be a mama. It's just the nurturing is just there. It's just so natural. Like, and cancer men are really, really emotional, too. But it, it's such a guarded way. Like, they so crabby. So, like, they be in their shell at first. But then, like, once you, like, get to know them, once they start opening up, like, they really show you, like, they, they show you everything. So, whoo, y'all aggravating that emotional girl. Lord. I give y'all six out of, six, six point five out of ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Did... Did someone say gang? Did someone say gang in this bitch? Oh, y'all y'all had called on the Leos? Yeah, some, is that what I heard? Gang, gang, in this, gang in this bitch? We in this bitch? Okay. Y'all know who the best. Y'all know who the number one is. Y'all know who hold this house by. Y'all know who royalty. Y'all know who the Zodiac royalty is. Y'all know who the kings and queens of the jungle. Y'all already know how it goes down. You know how it goes down, baby. Lee, do I, have, I don't even gotta say it. I ain't even gotta say it because you see it around my neck and I rip it every day. Leo gang, put your motherfucking ears up, bitch, because we in this bitch. Period. Y'all know who run the motherfucking show. Y'all know who down the ride for y'all asses. Y'all know who the best, most loyal friend you'll ever have. Leo women. Women. I'm talking about the women. I'm talking about this. Y'all know who down the ride for you through whatever. Y'all know. Y'all know. We might be a little dramatic with it yeah 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 but it's the drama that you love it's the drama that you can't do without like what would you do without your leo friend what would you do what would you do what would you do without your leo friend what would you do without your leo friend who's gonna buck you up yeah yeah who, who, who's gonna do it who's gonna turn you up yeah, who's gonna do it? Who's gonna remind you that you a bad bitch and you ain't got to be taking no shit from nobody? Who's gonna do it? Your Leo friend, like, y'all know what the fuck is going on. Y'all know. Y'all love to hate us. Y'all love to hate us because we shine bright like the sun that we ruled by. But I tell you what, can't do without us. I promise you that. Never, baby. Never. Like, I love Leos. I'm a Leo. My best friend Leo. They've been my A1 since day one, bitch. I'm talking about, that's my ace. Boom, cool. Like, loyal. Down. Down. With the shits. Down. Like, it's not up for debate. And like, who Leo men? Oh, girl. Like, I have very, 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 very mixed feelings about Leo men because, um... Like, if we think about, like, relationships and stuff like that, a Leo man really is the is the one who's shown me the most love and loyalty throughout, you know, every relationship I've ever been in, which is very interesting because Leo men is thought body bitches, baby. Like, they is some eaters, bitch. Like, they are whores. Whores, like, with a W-H-O. Whores, baby. Terrible. As a collective terrible. I'm talking about go from bitch to bitch to bitch to bitch to bitch and, and make everybody feel like they old lady and girl just chameleons. Like they can be whoever they need to be at the time to get what the fuck they trying to get. As a collective Leo men are absolutely terrible, absolutely trash. I'm talking about I don't even know how I dealt with the one that I deal with for this long because baby I be wanting to put that nigga through the wall. I, I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, we really do sometimes used to be fighting. Not physically, but, yeah, it be like two lions in the jungle for real. Like, it's definitely a power struggle with a Leo. Man, I never experienced narcissism like that from Leo niggas. Like, 
Oh, they crazy. And they really believe the bullshit they be saying. And it's like, is it because I'm a Leo that I'm, I be so perturbed and aggravated by the shit they be doing? Like, I, I, I look at it like, Is that what I what I be giving? Like, is this what I be giving? Is that why I'm so taken aback by the way that is? Because like, I just can't believe like that's what I be giving. Because if that's what I be giving, oh girl, that's terrible. Like, I can't do it. It's like Leo men, like you are determined to only see things one way. You you, you don't nobody else's perspective even remotely makes you don't even try to have no understanding for nobody else's perspective. And I'm like, girl, is that what I be giving? Because if that's what I be giving, that is terrible. So, I won't spend too much time on ourselves because, you know, we Leos. We can talk about ourselves all goddamn day. So, Leo men, I give y'all a negative 2 out of 10. And Leo women, I give us a 100 million thousand gajillion billion out of 10. Of course, because we are the chosen. We are the baddest. We are royalty. Recognize royalty when you see it. That's what you better do. Last but not least for part one of my Zodiac video, we have the Virgos. And yes, y'all are another one of my least favorites. Yay! <laughs> oh, girl, y'all get on my nerves. Like, Virgo men, oh, throw it out. Throw it away. Throw the whole nigga away. Throw the whole side away, girl. Virgo men so aggravating, girl. Oh, girl, they just ain't satisfied with nothing. Honey, you'll never be good enough. It'll never be good enough. Nothing that you do never be good enough. They just can't give you props. Give my motherfucking props. That's what you do, girl. Child, please. You'll be like pulling teeth trying to get a Virgo bed to give you credit for something, girl. Girl, all they always do, the nigga never to be like, oh, well, I mean, there's just always room for improvement. Bitch, you improve. That's what you do. You improve. Because, see, see, Virgo, Virgo men and women, y'all, y'all have a problem with not wanting to sweep around your own front door. That's what you need to do, baby. Y'all always do want to point out everybody else's flaws and imperfections and what's wrong with them and how they could do better in this area and always want to be so hypercritical of everybody else. Meanwhile, behind closed doors, your life is shambles. Shambles, baby. You don't have it together by a long shot. At all. You could be in the same situation by the bitch. And and, and, and then and then want to be running your mouth. Girl, shut up. Shut up. Worry about who nigga doing what to them. Meanwhile, your nigga putting you through the wall. Girl, shut up. You got to stop that. Why y'all do that? Why y'all do that? Y'all so hypercritical of the folks. So hypercritical of other people and, 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 and sweep around your own front door, baby. Go ahead, get your broom, get it together. Because why is you so worried about other people? I always trying to tell other people what they need to do. No, you got to worry about yourself first. When it comes to Virgo women, though, I, I can Virgo women keep it a little more real, though. Like, they'll tell you, you know, they'll give you some, they give you some real solid advice. And they'll really, like, keep it real with you and tell you, you know, what you need to work on or, or how the situation could be better or where you went wrong in the situation. They'll let you know, shit, I might... Be doing the same stupid ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Or, or be in another situation. Like, Virgo women keep it a little more real than Virgo men. But, girl, Virgo men, ooh, girl, hypercritical. Oh, I don't like it. Ooh, girl, and they don't understand it until you be to bump them down. But, like, who want to be bumping somebody down all the time? Like, Virgo, sweep around y'all on front door, baby. That's my advice to you because y'all always worried about what somebody else doing and always judging somebody else when your shit don't even be together half the time. But Virgo people have a wonderful work ethic, and one of the only things that saves y'all for me is the fact that Beyonce is a Virgo, and, you know, no Beyonce slander is ever to be tolerated. But that's really the only thing that saves y'all because if it wasn't for Beyonce, I wouldn't really have nothing good to say except for, like, y'all good friends, y'all down to earth, and uh, y'all have a really good work ethic. I ain't gonna lie, Virgo people handle their motherfucking business. Virgo people handle their business. If you need to get something done and you need it done diligently, a Virgo is going to get it done for you. So, with that being said, I give Virgo women a 7 out of 10, Virgo men negative 3 out of 10, child. I don't know how the most do it. Because I be out of 3,000. Ooh, y'all. All right, that is it for part one of my rating the Zodiac video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll be getting into Libra through Aquarius.
that's gonna be fun so don't forget like comment subscribe make sure that you subscribe because once i get to 500 followers i'm going to give away a hundred dollars on cash out $25 to four lucky winners on Cash App. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you share my content. I really appreciate everybody who has been rocking with me and down with me through my inconsistent times and all that. So make sure y'all subscribe for a chance to win that money. Comment, like, share, all that. It's been a blast. Until next time. Bye.